Alright, so I'm about to install the ZX connector into the Z linear track and we're going to adjust the free play um, for the uh, roller bearings. So as I put this in, okay, I can already feel that this bottom set has some free play and as I put this top set in, it's a little stiffer already, um, the free play is already out of the top so I won't really have to adjust that in this case so now I'm just gonna go to this adjustment two and a half millimeter Allen just gonna slowly adjust it and Wiggle this until the free play is removed. Just small adjustments at a time. Just a little bit more. Now I'm going to do a last quarter turn on both of these. That one was a little loose, but it was set where it needed to be. Just get that last bit. All right, so now it's still smooth. And if I pick this up, give it a little shake down. You'll see that it moves a little bit, that's what you want. So that's a good tension for this Z axis. All right, so this I now have properly adjusted. Okay, I've taken out the free play. So that is if there's a gap here between the bearing and the roller. And the way you can feel that is if you hold on to the track and then hold on to this connector and if you wiggled it back and forth and felt it shift that means there's still free play in there and you would you know you can see which one is moving off the track and adjust it down so this one is set correctly now if it's too loose this would have trouble staying in position on its own okay and the test to see if you have it right is to lift it up and shake it down and it should move a couple inches on its own. If you do that, if you shake it and it doesn't move, then you have the rollers too tight. Okay, so now I'm doing the uh, gantry upright into the Y axis. So it's going to go in fairly smooth here. And you can feel the amount of free play here by twisting that. So there's a good amount. So I'm going to do just about a full turn here to start on both sides. Until I get this free play out. almost there so it's just on this side because I can feel this bearing is tight and this one is still loose I can spin it easily so I have the free play out all right but still because it started to move See on its own really, it's still a little loose. So this is where it just needs the quarter turn here. And then we should be set. So now when I do my shake, yep, moves.
just a couple inches and we're good. And at this point you actually take it back out of the track and I'm going to keep that together. You mark which you have set up as which. Now I'm going to do the other side. Uh, this side is a little tougher because you have this bracket installed. Um, even when you uh, don't have the bracket installed, this little piece hangs down a little lower, so you kind of have to hold the piece upright as you're doing this. Okay, and again, quite a bit of free play. Start with another full turn. Another full turn. Still a bit. Still safe enough to do full turn. getting closer. The amount of free play that you have depends on how tight you set these Allen screws because this section is elongated for the adjustment so I set them usually pretty close to the bottom so that I make sure I have no issue getting it into the track it just means a little bit more adjustment Okay, so now I'm ready to do my test again here. And good. All right, so this comes out. And set it aside with its corresponding track. The last one we have to set up and adjust is the x-axis. So I'm going to slide it in here and so, so I can wiggle this and feel the free play. Um, for this I have the z-axis um, lower or in this case, meaning the this connector is higher up um, so that I can get the Allen screw in to the adjustment. This one can be a little trickier because you have to kind of go blind because you don't really see the Allen screw unless you tilt it back but I usually just do it standing up like this okay so in this case now the free play is out and I can feel and I'll show you here, this is when it's too loose. So if I just start to tilt this, when I tilt it, it starts to roll on its own. So while the free play is out of it, that's still a little too loose for it to be. So this is where you want it just a quarter turn more. And that should do it. So now I can 
feel it's a bit stiffer. Actually, still a little bit because. Granted, this is a little bit more weight, but it's still just a little loose. So just, just a tiny bit more, not even a quarter turn on these. My shake is good. Slides nice and smooth still, and this is set.